In this video, we are going to solve this rational equation. I'm going to solve it algebraically, meaning by hand, um, but I'm also going to solve it graphically using this TI-84. But first, let's uh, learn how to solve it algebraically. Now, it's in our best interest to factor everything that can be factored. So I see the difference of two squares here and here. So I'm going to factor those. So I'm, that's going to give me 4 over, and this is going to be x plus 4, x minus 4. And then I have 5 over x plus 4. And that's equal to x plus 4 over x plus 4, x minus 4. So I factored this and I factored this. This makes it easier, easier to see how many factors I have. How many different factors do you really see? All of the factors are either x plus 4 or x minus 4. All right, in different combinations, but those are the only two factors in any denominator. So the trick is to multiply by whatever factors you have in the denominator. That way you will cancel out all denominators. So in this case, I'm going to multiply by both of these. So I'm going to multiply everything by x plus 4. Okay, so that means here, here, and here. All right, but I'm also going to multiply everything by x minus 4. All right, now, if I chose properly, all of these denominators should cancel out. So let's see what happens. All right, over here, x plus 4 times x minus 4, um, x plus 4 and x minus 4 completely cancels out. Now right here, x plus 4 and x plus 4 cancel out. That still leaves x minus 4. Over here, again, x plus 4 and x minus 4 cancel completely out. So that leaves 4 right there. Everything else is gone. Over here, I have this 5 and this x minus 4. I'm going to wind up doing the distributive property here. So that's going to give me uh, 5x minus 20 and then equals all this canceled out so over here I just have x plus 4 now um, all I see I don't see x squared anywhere I just see regular x's so I'm gonna just try to get x by itself so I guess first of all I have these like terms might as well deal with that so um, combining 4 and negative 20, that's going to give me negative 16. All right, they're on the same side, so I just added them together. Now, I, couldn't, I could subtract x from both sides. That gives me 4x minus 16 is equal to 4. Now, adding 16 to both sides, that gives me um, 4x is equal to 20. And then uh, dividing both sides by 4 gives me x equals 5. Now that's the only solution I'm coming up with. So um, this should be a one solution problem. Um, now let's glance and make sure this is not an excluded value. Um, looking at these denominators, especially looking at this form here, 
um, I see that the excluded values are that x cannot equal negative 4, x cannot equal positive 4, all right, because of all of these. Um, this is not positive 4 or negative 4, so this should be okay. So that is how you solve an equation like this algebraically. Now, let's see how we can solve it graphically. The way I solve graphically is I take each side of the equation and I make a function out of it. So I'm going to make this entire thing be one function. Okay, and I'm going to graph it. So on my TI-84, I need to go to the Y equals area. I'm going to hit clear to clear out any functions that are already there from another problem. Um, I can see I need fractions, so I need to go into fraction mode. On this calculator, we hit second Y equals to launch this menu. Item 1 is fraction, so I'll just hit enter, and I've got fraction. Now the first fraction is 4 over x squared minus 16. So 4 over x squared minus 16. But there's more to it, plus 5 over x plus 4. Um, I need fraction mode again. five over x plus four. Okay, that is the first function. I'm going to go ahead and hit graph and take a look and see what it looks like. All right, very interesting. All right, there seems to be a vertical asymptote at negative 4 and positive 4, which makes sense because those are my excluded values. All right, so now I'm going to make another function out of the right-hand side. All right, I'm going to consider this to be its own function, x plus 4 over. So I'll go back, come down to the second line, Go into fraction mode by hitting alpha y equals, and then enter because it's number one. And I already forgot what it was. Sorry, right, x plus four. Over x squared minus sixteen. All right, I'm gonna hit graph again and see what that looks like. All right, there's the first function again. Now there is the second function. Interesting. Now, I see one intersection point right here. All right, where I see where they cross. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. It seems like these two parts might be getting close to each other, but if you look again, this is an asymptote here. All right, um, an asymptote at four. So you can tell because um, here we have an asymptote. Um, we have excluded values at four and negative four. So it makes sense that there would be an asymptote here at four. So they're never gonna intersect over here on the left. They're just gonna get closer and closer um, to the asymptote without ever touching. Anyway, to find this intersection point right here, I'm going to hit second trace to access the calculate menu. Intersect is option number five, so I'll hit option number five. I want to make my way over to this spot as closely as possible. So I'm going to just hit my right arrow key and head on over there. All 
All right, that's pretty close to the intersection point. Um, once I get really close to the intersection point, I just hit enter three times. Watch this. Boom. Once you see it say intersection, that means this is the answer. Um, it gives me the y value of the intersection point, but it's really the x value that is the solution. So x equals 5. And of course, that matches what we found algebraically. All right, again, um, it sort of looks like these two might touch, but uh, both functions share a vertical asymptote at four. So they're just going to get closer and closer to that asymptote. Um, you can see on, on this equation the vertical asymptote because, um, uh, because of this. All right, it factored as x plus 4 and x minus 4. That's both of my excluded values. And the same thing happens over here. Um, you know, I have the plus 4 and the minus 4. Now, you might wonder why there's a, a, a vertical asymptote at 4, looking at the red function, but not at negative 4. All right, only the blue function has both asymptotes. Why doesn't the red function have two asymptotes? Well, the reason is because um, if you look at this carefully, and let's see if I have enough space to show you this. Okay, look at this function over here. I've got x plus 4 over, now this factors as x plus 4, x minus 4. All right, that's what this function is. This was the red function. Now, at first glance, you might think I would have two vertical asymptotes. All right, you might think I'd have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 4. Well, can anyone see why I don't have two vertical asymptotes? Well, it's because... Hold on, sorry, my computer's being so slow. The x plus 4 and the x plus 4 cancel each other out. So what do you get when factors cancel out instead of a vertical asymptote? Hopefully you said you're going to get a hole. So the thing is there is a hole at negative 4. All right, There's a hole at negative 4 comma something, but not a vertical asymptote. So that's why um, the red equation only had one vertical asymptote at positive 4. Okay, and that is the same as the vertical asymptote of the blue function. So they will never touch. So that's why we only have one solution.